Hey everyone, I hope you are doing well and welcome back to the Build Smarter series. So today I wanted to cover my newer workflow that I have been using for building beautiful landing pages for my clients. So what I have seen is a lot of people say that uh, AI built landing pages are really generic and not beautiful at all. And that is why I have been experimenting with this new strategy in order to add animations like these. So as you can see, this is pretty looking animation. So yeah, that is what I wanted to share with you guys today in this quick video. Uh, this landing page, I, uh, you know, this is the hero section that I shared inside uh, X yesterday. And a lot of people were saying that I just copied a uh, Raycast uh, hero section. But to be honest, I had no idea that Raycast uh, is a company or something who uses this kind of background. I just went to Unicorn Studio. And if you can see inside Unicorn Studio, they have some multiple starter templates. So for example, this is the one which I used. And what you can do is you can just click on it and you can build on top of it. So for example, I can just, you know, uh, click on it and I can change the color I can do this uh, I can make this binds move here or there so there are multiple ways of you know changing these animations inside Raycast and once that is done that is when you can embed this into your own landing page so yeah I just wanted to clarify this before and to be very honest uh, we guys are not designers I mean at least I'm not a designer and uh, before when I used to develop stuff I had to wait like for weeks in order for the designer to get us designs for the website and that is when I started started building on top of it. So stuff like this really amazes me even now and that is why I wanted to share this. Obviously I'm not going to share this exact landing page with my client. I'm under an NDA and also the plan was to you know go ahead and update everything according to their color palette and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is social media. People are here to drag you down, but uh, you have to ensure that you, you know, keep on walking forward and stuff like this used to really bother me before, but now it does, it just doesn't matter anymore. You know, uh, it's just publicity for me. So if you guys understand, so yeah, uh, let's proceed forward and let me show you how exactly can you embed effects like these inside lovable. So, uh, I found multiple threads on X, which were telling you how exactly you can embed this, but those were not working. So what I had to do is I had to go through the documentations, uh, for Unicorn studio on and found out the best way for embedding you know, this inside your landing page. So this took me some time. So if you want, you can go through the documentation. You will be able to find it. Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, you will be able to find it here. As you can see, you have the JavaScript SDK and there was another guide on embedding this exact animation. But what I did in order to make it simpler for you, I just pulled in the documentation inside cursor and after talking to it for like an hour, I finally created a prompt. As you can see, this is the prompt. So now it is really easy for you. You just have to copy paste this prompt inside lovable and you will have an animation of your choice embedded already. So that is what I exactly did here. Also, let me walk you through the exact uh, steps that I took in order to build this landing page. So the first thing was I used snap prompt and a uh, design inspiration from dribble. And I got my, you know, basic layout up and running, as you can see, pretty simple. And once that was done, I went to 21st dev and here they have this beautiful hero component that you guys also can use. So if you click on here, hero component, then, uh, yeah, there are multiple hero component, but this is the one that I used. So what you can do is you can just open it up and from here you can click on copy prompt and then you can copy it and it's as simple as going inside cursor and uh, you know pasting this and asking it to replace the current hero section uh, with the, the below code and it will just proceed with uh, you know implementing the zero section. Yeah. And once that is done what you have to do is you just have to copy this prompt and paste it inside uh, lovable and you have to do just one thing you have to use this unicorn studio project id of the animation that you like so let me open this animation as you can see on the export button if you go to embed you will be able to see this project id here so just click on copy and you have to just replace uh, this place with this as you can see and you just have to then take this entire prompt and paste it inside lovable so let me also show you where exactly did i do this so yeah, as you can see, I just copy pasted this inside lovable and then I replaced it with the unicorn studio ID of this animation. And then it just went ahead and, you know, replaced this uh, background with this new animation. So as you can see, and I just asked it to update the font after that. And now this is what it is looking like. 
so yeah i have been experimenting with this lately and clients love it i mean they get amazed when you are able to send them something like this in you know like an hour or so uh, but yeah i would recommend that whenever you are integrating something like this inside your landing page ensure that you you know play around with it you change the design you change the color palette etc you can see this was a 90000 dollar website which i found on youtube and they even have this one you know uh, implemented inside Uh, you know unicorn studio so let's say i want to integrate this now what i'll do is i'll just go to embed and i'll get the project id from here and i'll just ask uh, lovable to replace the project id with this id so let me do that could you please replace the project id of the hero section for the unicorn studio animation with the following project id this and let it do its magic there are other pretty looking animations as well as you can see this effect stack looks pretty cool so you just have to do this you just have to get the you know the project id and you can just replace that inside this prompt and then just take this prompt and paste it inside lovable and it is as simple as that for you yeah so as you can see the animation has been implemented let's wait a while for the laser beam to come up yeah so as you can see we have this cool looking animation inside the landing page now if you are wondering that this is at the center and why i want it on the right side that is exactly what you have to do you just can you know uh, you can just click on it the uh, the beam and you can place it anywhere you want so for example i am able to change the 3d shape here so exactly for this example as well what you will do is you will just uh, you know take this beam put it on the right side or top side whatever you want and then you can just export it and get the project id and replace it here and you will have the updated animation going on so yes guys that is what i wanted to share today i'll have this exact prompt inside uh, the description and you can just copy paste it and play around with this new thing that i found out super cool and it will really help you in taking uh, your landing page game up so yeah as you can see i already have this prompt ready so these are the requirements these are the implementation steps and this is the you know the code for integrating this inside the hero section and some other stuff that is really important for you to get this stuff right at the first step so yeah just feel free to experiment this workflow and let me know what you think and i'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching see you next time